I'm here with Dave Seibel, Community Director at Level Platforms. How are you doing, Dave? I'm very good. We're having a great show. And I've just seen you give a really fantastic presentation um, about managed services. Thank and you. One of the statistics that jumped out was 35% of solution providers are not interested in cloud services. It's, it's one of my favorite current stats. What? <laughs> so, so Forrester did some research and identified that the, when they asked solution providers, why are you not interested in the cloud, the, number, the, the top reason was we're not interested. Now, admittedly, let's take a moment and think about what the number means. We're talking about solution providers across the entire industry. That includes product salespeople. That includes you know, even development organizations. Solution providers are a very wide term, so they're doing a very large percentage. But it was surprised me that it wasn't a business decision. It wasn't a technical holdup. It is the actual reason is we are not interested in this business. Now, what's interesting about the report is, is it goes a little further and makes predictions about the channel. And it, one of the things that it names is the VARs that do not embrace the channel. It literally says, RIP, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And what the thought is, is that cloud will permeate all businesses at some level. Now, I, was, I made also the example that you know, we're not actually talking about cloud being everything. Sure. There are always devices. There are always a need for some level of on-site support. But the cloud will be involved at some level in business everywhere. Mm. If people want to find that report, find out more, it was a Forrester report? It's a Forrester it? report, yeah. Forrester Cloud Computing Trends for 2012, 2013. Got it, got it. And you also alluded to in your uh, presentation about the Internet of Things. Yes. Let's talk a little bit more about that concept. So the, the concept that I'm talking about is, 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 this, is called the Internet of Things. And the idea is, is that the Internet is being more and more populated by devices rather than people. And in 2000. 11, sorry, 2010, the number of connected devices reached uh, over 12 billion, whereas the population of the Earth is only you know, just shy of 7 billion. And so essentially we have more things on the Internet than we have in terms of devices. That's a critical, a critical point. The other thing that's interesting, when we launched IPv6 in 2011, you know, we've reached the point where, and I can't do the number without seeing my slide, but essentially we, we can give IP addresses to every atom on the Earth and still have enough IP addresses for 100 more Earths. So we're not going to run out of IP addresses anytime, anytime soon. Anytime soon, okay. which was a concern with IPv4. The idea there is, is that if you think about the number of devices that each individual human has, it's becoming more and more. Um, I've got a, a home that I've actually invested some in technology, and so I'm, prob I'm probably, if not cutting edge, potentially bleeding edge. I've invested in home automation and stereo and, and you know that kind of thing. And we have over 70 devices wow. in my home that are IP enabled. Now that includes you know, the light switches and the home controllers and the touch panel displays. And so, and so it's not typical of a typical home. But you're not exactly unique in that respect. No. So there's lots of people. People have got television sets and living room. Exactly. Around. Everything. Right, and an IP address. Yeah. And what's interesting is now let's apply that idea to business. Let's take it further and say, you know, if you think about the number of devices that happen in manufacturing or in, in, in large industry, in, in hospitality, in, you know, a large, in, in all these different fields, they're all also becoming internet enabled. They're used, they're driving on the cloud, they're becoming internet enabled, and ultimately, all of them need to be monitored and managed. So what I was talking about with the Internet of Things is, as a solution provider, and particularly as a managed solution provider, uh, managed services provider, there's lots of opportunity to really explore the idea of monitoring and managing all of these, embracing all of these new devices and moving beyond just desktop and servers, which are still important. They're still part of the component, but actually there's significant business value in those other devices and monitoring and managing those too. And where do you see the main focus for MSPs making money out of these, uh, these new changes in the industry? Well, the way I'm seeing the, seeing the trend moving is more toward the really driving business automation. Mm -hmm. So what you're able to do is if you can go to a, to a customer of yours and say, you know, Mr. Customer, I can help you drive more profitability in your business through automation across end-to-end. -end. That may be in a knowledge worker environment. Of course, that's going to focus a lot on their desktops. But in manufacturing, that's going to do across the production lines. In um, healthcare, for example, in the United States, that focuses around all the medical devices. In government, that's going to do a different. Each sector is going to have its own areas. Yeah. But there's all these new devices that are popping up, that, all of which need to be managed. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a lot of that trend in mobility. As we talk about mobile and bringing mobile devices, that's the beginning of what we're seeing with this Internet of Things. And we saw some presentations today and they were talking about the rising tablets and mm -hmm. uh, not really the 
death of uh, the PC, but certainly PC fading away in comparison. Right. But I think most people nowadays have got iPads or some sort of tablet, right. if not two or three or four in a household now. Right. The kids have got tablets, you've got televisions, you've got smartphones, mm -hmm. all of these different things. So, it, you know, it's really a case of managed service providers looking to how that impacts businesses mm -hmm. and looking to the future and understanding how they can make money from that. Yeah. I really challenge the idea of the death of the PC. Um, I, the PC is not dying, it simply isn't growing. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the statistics that get thrown around are percentage-based. When you look at the total market and you say, oh, you know, the PC was 80% of the market, now it's only 60% of the market. Oh, it's dropped 13%. The market has gotten bigger. Sure. There's more devices. By my own numbers around the growth of the Internet of Things, we have more devices than people now. That wasn't true 10 years ago. So the market, from a raw unit ship perspective, it's stopped growing as quickly as it has, but it's not dying. The same way that we that IBM still sells mainframes. Mm -hmm. The market just isn't growing the same way that it was. And so I, so what I really do is I implore managed services providers to, to not think, oh, I'm abandoning what I'm doing. It's simply that your world has become bigger and that you've got to think of all of the other stuff that's out there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Dave, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. For more news and advice for SMB IT companies, visit www.tublog.co.uk.